Hey Gemini, welcome back to my channel. Sorry, I needed to adjust this for a little bit. Okay, sorry. Um, <laughs> I'm here to do your weekly messages. So uh, I'm gonna start by pulling some of the Rebel cards uh, off the Rebel deck. Okay, so let's see, upcoming week for Gemini. We have, shit is going down with your job. Reevaluate, change your perspective, or fucking quit. Ooh, ooh. <laughs> oh yeah, definitely. Hold on, let me pause. It could be because you know we have the three of pentacles reversed, and with this being reversed, it's kind of like you don't want to work together with with coworkers or whoever you're dealing with. You cannot work together with someone because you know people bump heads. You're not happy doing it that way because we have the Ten of Cups reversed. So there's definitely something going on at work that you're not happy with. And that's going to be, you know, there's a decision you need to make because we have the Lovers reversed. Okay? The Lovers reversed with the Father of Pentacles. That's already telling me that you are better off working by yourself or opening your own business if you've been called to do that or if you, you really want to fucking quit then this is the opportunity to do so you got to remember are you really happy because the ten of cups is reversed that's not being happy at all and the with the three of pentacles reversed not being able to work together with someone you're better off working to yourself you work better when you're when you're solo and independent so th those are the things you got to think about okay let's keep it moving sorry i had a i went on a tangent there and you know what i mean Sorry, I haven't slept well. It says, have you eaten? Are you acting like a big ass? You are acting like a big ass baby. Oh, are we grouchy? Are we hangry? It says, you need food in your belly. Eat a fucking taco. <laughs> hey, don't hit the messenger, okay? All right, then we have, ooh, two came out, so I guess we'll take these. This is eat your, wow, eat your fucking vegetables. Speaking of food, right? Eat your fucking vegetables. Eat some shit made by Mother Nature. And then it says, make better fucking choices. If you are pissed at where you are, then stop taking yourself there. And that goes back to the work situation. Okay, moving on. So, look what we got. Love begins. On the bottom of this, we have the source. Literally, this is the source of your happiness. And it's about to begin. Love. The rainbow represents a promise. There's something being poured out, okay? Someone is going to express how they feel. Could it be you? Someone could have fell in love. And they're just going to get to the source. They're just going to be like, this is what it is. I want to start a family. I want to take care of you. It could be anything. So be ready for that, boo-boo. Okay? Then we have Prosperity Begins. Funny how the Courage card came out. Look at how both of them resonate, okay? Okay? With the Courage card, look at, through the hard times and everything that you went through, you grew from that. It made you into someone strong. It made you grow from harsh times and all those that bullshit you had to endure. You grew from that. You learned from it. Um, it's kind of like a rose growing from the concrete type of shit. And because prosperity begins, I feel like you, someone planted a seed in love or in, in, in relationships or in whatever it is that you were trying to manifest, it's now growing here, okay? It was really tough. It took a while and it took a lot of shit that you had to put up with in order for something to grow and for you to get there. So I love that. That's amazing. Then we have the shadow, okay? This is the moon card. This is like facing your fears. This is looking within uh, what makes you happy, what makes you sad, what are the things that you need to balance out. This is like balancing out your light and your dark, the yin and the yang. Okay, you realize that you're happier when you when you balance those things out and you have been doing that. So that's good. This is really going within your subconscious mind. And then we have the isolation again, going within your subconscious mind. Um, maybe there was a moment where you had to take some time for yourself. OK, stay away from the world, the outside world. There was a problem, a period where you're a wild child and you were out there and now you're just trying to isolate yourself because you needed a, you needed time for reflection, time to look within, and that gave you a really great insight of what you want, who you are, what you want to become, what you want to manifest in your life, okay? You're really looking at everything that, all the bullshit that you had to endure, especially because we have the courage card here, okay? This is strength, 
This is like tackling the beast. This is like facing your fears right here. Taking the bull by its horns. Okay. Because you faced your fears and you faced it. Uh, there's definitely something growing, manifesting from that. You're going to get the rewards that you truly desire because we have prosperity begins and love begins. So hello, Gemini. You are having some good things coming to you. You will be seeing that, realizing that. Or hearing about it this upcoming week okay just because it comes out this week doesn't mean it's just just for this week it resonates whenever it fucking resonates okay <laughs> I love you guys all right guys this was your message for this upcoming week please like share and subscribe and I'll see you in your following video bye bye lovebirds